Charlie the Cannons, Charlie the Cannons, boom, 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 we are not pirates. Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carlin Gaming Super Smash Brothers Spring Break Bowser Amiibo Challenge, where we are down to five fighters at the moment. We actually Woo. have a sixth one who's only at like level 49 only half. So almost ready to go. Almost. almost. We, he's, yeah, we've been training him for a, a hot second, but he's he's close. He's it's close. A, it's amazing how fast the original ones got to 50 and how long yes. it's taken us to have the new one get to 50. Yeah, well, I, I read a little more about how to train Amiibos, like the proper way. And so before we were just like setting them up for like 99 stock battle against each other and right. we just like leave the room and they'd come back. That made it me. really easy. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is like not gonna, gonna like put effort into it. Oh, Man. Anyway. But uh video games do require just way too much effort. Oh no, yes, right? Now it's like it's not even worth know. it. It's too much work. It's, it's so way much too much work. work. <laughs> way too much work. Oh boy. Well anyway, uh Jordan, can we figure out who is playing first and which amiibo we are taking on today? Yes, so going first today is DK. Uh oh, there you go. Doesn't get any of the tape to go off of. Mm, gotta go and in. He is Hi. getting number two. Ooh, Ooh. Horntail. Really? You know what? I don't dislike my chances. Whoops. I feel like we have not played Horntail yeah. that much. I don't think we I have. have. Like, literally, once. I don't think we have. I think we no, have I think we have once. Oh, I, I think I had oh, a yeah, decent sure. showing against him. Like, I, 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 I may have spiked him once. Yeah. Oh, right. Trying to figure out who would be good. I'm the Dark Pit, Donk Gong. Mm, he's off the airbase, so it's maybe. Oh, he doesn't have. Whatever, I'm fine. Good luck. Here we go. So today we have a question from Anna. Now, we do get a lot of questions about I'm in love with my best friend, what do I do? Anna yes. is on the other side of this. That her best friend's in love oh. with her. Oh. Oh, now, now. They're what part a of a tight knit friend group. And I'm pretty sure he is romantically interested in me, and I don't really feel the same. Oop. Interesting. She, actually, she does say she's not sure that she likes him in that way. Oh, boy. Um, but she really doesn't want to cause problems in the friend group, and there's also a lot of pressure Leave from outside parties, like, uh, because they've been friends mm -hmm. since they were kids, the families yeah. are like, oh, they'd be so cute together. Sure, right. sure, sure, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is a thing where, like, all of a sudden, like, within a friend group, if someone finds out someone else likes someone else and they're all really for it, it's like, uh-oh, and... It's like everything would be so great if the other person was just interested too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> right, right, right. This is like, yeah, like, so the, the OTP uh, within your friend group, like where everybody's like rooting for it too. Right. But like one person's not into it and it's yeah. like, it makes it so, it's like, can you just be on board to like... Nope. Right. Like suddenly you're a jerk because you don't want to go out with the one person everyone wants you to go out with, but it's like your feelings. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Spoiler alert, you are not a jerk for not being romantically attracted no. to someone. That is very true. <laughs> very true indeed. Uh, have, you, have you guys had a situation like this before? Uh, friend group yes, and... and we ended up dating for seven years. Oh, wow. So it turns out... <laughs> a friend of mine was like, you should, guys should just like go out with some time. You never know what might happen. So, so that worked out for you then? I mean, I mean to a degree. It's always one of those things, if you have like a long-term relationship, yeah. yeah, that doesn't work out, it's like, did it work out? Yeah. Or, or was that just like a whole bunch of time? I mean, I would hope that in most long-term relationships like that, you, at the very least, learn things about yourself and... and oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you learned tons of things about I learned yourself, a whole lot of what not to do, yeah. a whole lot of what not to put up with. Yeah. Oh but my it, gosh! It was still seven years. I really thought that. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, like it, so, it's so not... that that almost makes me want to tangent the question a little bit, just to the tune of, do you guys think it's good to have failed relationships yes. before yes. finding the relationship that this is true. Oh, a million percent. absolutely. Because otherwise, like, uh, like you just learn so much. Like, it's so hard if you're dating someone who's like, or, like the first time you experience jealousy or whatever. It's so hard to like rationalize it in the moment in your head that like it's okay. And like after the fact, it's much easier to look back and be like, what was what was the problem? What was I really afraid of? Yeah. And, like, and you know what's great when you're with somebody where you experience jealousy and then you're like, hey, no. this is what I'm feeling, and then they know how to handle it in yes. a way that like is positive in the relationship. Sorry, I just yeah. gotta gotta build up the guy that I'm seeing right now because we had uh, one of those recently and he, uh, he was boy. great. 
That's, That's amazing. Good. Glad to hear it. Oh, everybody, no. big round of applause from afar for Jordan. I feel like this yes. is taking forever. Hey, uh, I mean, but you're doing it. well, you're not, so like, not, yeah, it's don't... so close, Derek. You can, you can send him. Oh, oh that, that, was, that was like that was a like, moment. That was like a half pixel difference in time. Might have been a dodge. Like that was, that was that so was good. Ridiculous. <sighs> So yeah, I mean, I got him. here's the thing. Who are we oh, talking wow. to? We're talking to Anna, Anna Kay. Is this? I'm gonna just call you Anna Kendrick for uh, the rest of the. the nice. Oh, oh, it's definitely in my Anna mind. Kendrick. It's definitely, definitely Anna Kendrick, Kendrick. and <laughs> she's I'm concerned so glad. her best friends in love with her. I'm so I'm, glad that. And she like, why wouldn't the they? Show. She you know? is a longtime fan of the channel. Everyone should tweet her and be like, "Wow, I can't believe you watch Supercarl and gaming." <laughs> That's <laughs> amazing. So crazy. Yeah, don't feel pressure to date this guy though, Anna Kendrick. <laughs> and and like, um, it is fine to just be straightforward about it and understand that his feelings are gonna be no. hurt no matter yeah. what you do that's it's probably yeah i i think okay but that's the thing too is that um if you are not no! oh, yeah, so he's close. super easy you guys are gonna crush him oh yeah boy. i i see Come in, I'm Don't coming in cold. You know, you know how it is. You know how it is. Okay, so here's here's the other thing though. When your best friend is in love with you, is very frequently. This this is sort of like my core opinion of these things. Is that often if you have a relationship where one person likes the other person, you have to throw the question in. Like, do I benefit from this friendship so much because this person likes me? Ooh. So it's like, sure. so they're always willing to be there for me. They're always the shoulder to cry on. Like if I throw it out to the group, like does anybody want to go and do this thing? Like they're always the person who says yes. Like at some point in time, you you might need to have the conversation if if you know or they've expressed it to you to to like give them the closure that will allow you guys to Ooh. be friends Whoa, in a, a way um, that that doesn't rely on one person's feelings. Yeah, absolutely. does that yeah. make sense? Because it's really easy to be a super awesome friend of the person you like. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, and maybe harder to be a super awesome friend. Uh, whoop! If oh boy. No! Oh if boy, uh, we're in a bad start. You know. I forgot what I was gonna say. If if they don't reciprocate the feelings. Yeah, yeah. Or so like if if there is not a like chance for a relationship there. Like if that has been like. No. Quelled like that question has been answered for them. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Um, but don't don't like leave them on the hook. Don't don't yes. do the like. Um, I, I'm not ready for a relationship. But right maybe now. some day. No, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. No. Do like that. that's worse. Yes, that is worse. That is worse because then you've basically given them hope, and they think the more time that they spend with you, they're just slowly winning you over. Yeah. Also, like and and to the degree where if it is a possibility in the future, just tell them no now. Yeah. Literally, yes. That's true. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Morning, my Mid episode UPS delivery. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice. Boom! Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Th this is winnable. Oh, this oh, is beyond winnable. Like I said, he's, he's super easy. Like. I'm mad that I didn't get him. We could have had all three of us get him. Don't say things. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You got this, Jay. Um, You're only at 140. You're fine. So, <laughs> yeah. Even if it's the type of thing where you think it might be a possibility in the future, like oh, come on. they're not gonna get over you immediately, Jesse! most likely. Woo! Oh, take that. The Four standing zero. Jay does it again. <laughs> I wish you guys could have seen the strut <laughs> that just came across oh, this room. I got it. And I feel like coming into my round here now, the stakes are just like a little bit too low to matter, you know? Like Jay, Jay's <laughs> no, already beat it. Because if you beat... Derek's complained about not beating it. If you beat Horntail, then Derek gets a buy oh, himself rematch. Oh, I got a rematch! Right. Oh, one-on-one, it could happen. So this could be this is, a big this would be deal because it would so there literally are mean that all three of beat him. Right. There are stakes. And mighty and oh, are you, you gonna go, go incineroar? Hang on, hang on. I might. Can I go back and change it so that it's not battlefield, yeah. but rather, you can go, you can go, um, but rather Omega, maybe that yeah. one. What is Omega? Is that the no it's platform? This flat, yeah. Final destination. Yeah. Okay. Oh man, I got the sweaty palms. I might actually stand myself. Oh, oh boy, boy, boy. And the old standaroo. The old standaroo. Oh, hang on. Man. What color do I want? Incineroar always takes longer. Here we go. It's got a lot of hair to. Change. A lot of hair to change. Yeah. Man, so I was telling Ben, I fired up my Ultra Sun 
Pokemon game last week. Oh man. With my self imposed challenge is that I, uh, they all have to be at least fire type. So I have an Incineroar. So I've had a good week of Incineroaring. I'm excited to there see him. And I was like, man, I want to go play him in Smash. Ooh, this is a uh -oh. small stage. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, and Incineroar does not have good recovery. Oh, but he might oh. spike him! Oh, oh, oh so close! You're gonna get him! That would have been amazing! A thousand percent you were gonna get him. I totally did. I was gonna be like, oh, he's recovered. Yeah, boom! Got him, bro. You, you trying to pick that up? <laughs> I don't I would pick it up just to throw it, man. Because yeah. you have projectile. Oh. He's got a sword! Anyway, the uh... We've all got swords! It's a, it's a hard thing to deal with because you don't want to lose your friend. Um, well, and obviously, we, I'm sure they, we, they don't know that. Do we know for sure that this person is like their best friend or is it like a... Just like this, part, part of the friend group? Their friend group. school and uh, part of a very tight knit friend group. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, interesting. I don't know, see, here's the thing though. If they're only really your friend because they want a relationship with you, then are they really your friend? Well, I mean, if they're a, fr a friend group though, I think that for this per like particular instance, that doesn't necessarily apply. But that is a good question, generally. Oh! Okay. oh. Yes, that didn't go well, even at all. <laughs> Maybe standing's not your game. Standing might not be my game, <clears throat> even a little bit. Um, also, I have made this, this comment before, but it's a very weird thing to wrap your head around. It's like the idea that like, <clears throat> if, you are not going to be friends with people you would date. Does that make sense? No, not at all. What do you mean? Because I, I feel like it introduces an element of, like your friendship almost ends up hinging on that. Is this a little oh, bit well, of no, like this bend is, rules to like? It's not, it's okay. not, no, no, no. no. I, I, know, I know what you mean. Like if you are friends with someone because you like them first, then like, are you really, like, are you like, did you form a friendship over the fact that you had a crush on them? Or were you friends with them for a long time and over time developed feelings? Because I think both of those are very possible, but very different situations. Yes, yeah. yes. But before yeah. all of us take on Horntail. Not all of us. Oh, well. sorry. Before <laughs> Derek and I take on Horntail, we're going to pause for a Patreon sponsor message of the day. Yes, our Patreon sponsor today is Annalise, aka okay, Dr. Branch, who says, only five more days until the next Spartan getting pumped to see everyone. That's right, we have a uh, Super Carlin Spartan race this weekend with uh, a bunch of people from our Discord server. If you'd like to get details on uh, how to join us in the future, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. I would definitely recommend you check it out. The Spartan race is something we do once a year. It's not like a Super Carlin Brothers event. It's an event that the Super Carlin Brothers go to. That's right. We, we attend in mm -hmm. big numbers. I think we have 38 people running the Spartan Race with us this year, which is right. absolutely going to be just a, a ton of fun. Yeah. Um, it is my favorite thing of the year. Um, it's pretty fun. Yes. It's It sounds so intimidating at first, but it really is it, a lot of fun. I enjoy it. Yes, it, and it's not nearly <laughs> as bad as, as you might think. Uh, going into a Spartan race, which can be a little intimidating, especially with the... You didn't like, do team battle. No, dang it, every the dis time. The disclosure going into the event, like that death... Oh, yeah, or, okay, so here, right, can I, I'm going to tell a little story about the Spartan race um, for uh, people who haven't done any of it yet. Spin us a tape. Okay, so here's the deal. I am not like a super duper 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 in shape person like Ben and Jay, and going into this race, I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to die. And then we get there. And there are people in there walking around that are just the most in shape people I've ever seen in my life. They're like pairs of abs walking around with shorts on. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I shouldn't be here. I'm going to die. Well, did, that's how I felt too. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. They give you a little handout. We, yeah, they give you a handout. And on this, and on the, this, the handout, it says, you might die. And I'm like, what? What is going on? Well, what did we sign up for? Exactly. Like, no, honestly, okay, so my... But, but it was so much fun. It was just, it was nothing but fun. My my chief concern going into it was we just got a whole bunch of people to agree to do this. <laughs> oh, sure. And now there's a disclosure that says, you might, you die. might die. Oh my God, what if we're responsible? For I remember something? I was standing at the, the starting line and I got total cotton mouth because I was just like, if Whoop. someone gets hurt because we asked them to come out here, Oh, it's good. But, yeah. but no, it goes super well. It, it's, um, it's just fun. Like, the, it's like a big right, playground. Yes. There's no shame 
Uh, like in the way we do it, there's absolutely no shame in like skipping an obstacle if you can't do it. Yeah. it and yeah, and there's probably gonna be a bunch like, that I'm not gonna be able to do myself. I would say right. the worst thing that happened to me is I got a little bit of a rope burn that was entirely yep. my own fault. Yeah. Like, you a rope burn. Um, I got a rope burn. On I the got one too. pulling the bag. And oh, really? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know what? I don't do that now. I, I thought, like, oh, I can just slowly sort of nope, don't open do and close nope, my hands, but do no, that. don't do that. <laughs> Actually lower it down. Oh, yeah. One hand over the other. Yep. I, got, I got a little rope burn on my leg coming down from the rope climb itself. Oh, yeah, that was a that was a bit of a nasty burn. Yeah, yeah, more than you'd expect. For but, I, I mean, uh, to that end, if anybody can get a group together, even if it's, you don't do it with the SCV group, which you probably should, but, oh, yeah. like, it's very, very fun. It's a fun thing. You feel super accomplished. Um, and as long as you're not, like, trying to compete, it doesn't really matter if you're doing it uh, very, very quickly. But bonus in the event that you do it with the SCV team, we do get matching tank tops, and oh, yeah. it is a hoot. It is. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's probably the highlight of my year um, as far as stuff that we do here. It's so good. It's just a, a fun thing that we're able to do. Double bonus, we do typically attach it to a meetup, so in the event that you ever wanted to go to a meetup, yep. uh, that is like the next day. Yeah. So. Yeah, it wasn't last year, it was the same. It was, it it was, was the, the same, same day we last were, year. That will we never were, happen again. Yeah, that was, yeah. Uh, that was exhausting. Honestly though, the fact that like we did it all in the same day, I look back because I still get exhausted from the meetups that we have. And I'm like, how did we do a Spartan race in the morning? We, we didn't know better. That's pure what it was. adrenaline the Basically. entire day. Yeah, and just as soon as the meetup was done, we're like, no. That was the first and meetup we ever did, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was, it was also my, my second week on the job. Yeah, that was like Jordan just got in here. <laughs> Forgot about that. Wow. Yep. I mean, we have been planning it kind of since the previous November. Yeah, you'd already been doing a lot of work before you got here. Yeah, before right. you were physically here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Sorry, also, Anna Kendrick, uh, to uh, deviate from your question for so long. I, I mean, I'm going to plug meetups really quickly because if people on this channel don't already know that we're doing meetups, um, we've got one in D.C. this upcoming I'm, weekend, I'm so June 30th. Uh, we might have fewer than 10 tickets left for that, so if you want it, get them oh, now. Nice. Get them this Monday. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got, uh, in July, we're going to Chicago, oh, and in November, we are going to Salt Lake City. Who said for Chicago on? I'm excited for all of them. I mean, like, oh, that, no! Yeah. Oh, you got it. Nice recovery, Ben. I did not think that was going to happen. Boom! He's got such good recovery that it's really frustrating to try to get him. Um, so I am a little bit interested, uh, Ben, if you think you can... Articulate? Talk about it while, while you're playing. Um, okay. You were talking about how you typically don't befriend people that you might be interested in dating. Yeah, I don't understand that at all. Okay, so do you, do you have friends currently that you would date? Yes. Assuming that we were both... Single so, stuff, yes. Whoop, whoop. That you would be oh, uh, interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know that I have any friends that I would. I mean, I'm engaged, so it would be rather, <laughs> right. rather irrelevant anyway. But the, I mean, the point is, is that typically, like, for one, if if I'm in a relationship, then there aren't other people that I would date. That's a well, fair point. Becomes like the the chief rule. It's not like a because otherwise, why not just date the person that you would date? Well, so well, I think. I think what they're saying is like, you don't know anyone that you're currently friends with that were the circumstances that you were both single, you don't think you'd be compatible dating? Or I guess you're saying, why would you date them if, why wouldn't you just, well, even I, if that's true, why wouldn't you I, yeah, like be I with think, them right now instead of the person you're currently Exactly. With? Like if, if you, if there is somebody that you, if you're dating somebody and you still have somebody that you would assess as I would date that person then I would make the argument that you're not dating the right person. Well, mm, so interesting. Because, yeah, but if, but if I, 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 was, I hear what you're saying. But if I was with that other person, then I would still want to be dating the person that I was with then. Right. You know what I mean? So, I, well, I get that, but I, I feel like what that says to me ultimately is that you are putting your bar at, at people that you would date too low to where it's like, you need to find that person that you would date to where you would be like, I do not want to and would not date anybody else. Hmm. Oh, right? see, there, so there's a, a difference for me um, between want to and would, because, it, and this jumps a little bit to the Ben's Rules to Life of if there is someone uh, of the appropriate gender that you are friends with that you might, that, that there might be romantic feelings, essentially. Um, my thought with it is that if I am friends with you, I should be holding you to a similar standard that I hold the people that I'm romantically involved. Maybe oh, we would have the same chemistry or something, but like, 
I want my friends to be people who make me better. I want my significant other to be the person who makes me better. So sure. If if I had the opportunity awesome. to date one of my friends, I wouldn't feel like I shouldn't date them. Hmm. Essentially. Oh, we get to add another. Yeah, Ridley's down. Another friend. Yeah. Ridley down. Gets to go onto the shelf of fallen heroes. That's right. Woo! Getting bigger and bigger. We're gonna need a bigger yeah, shelf yeah. eventually. Yeah, it's a pretty large shelf. It's a pretty, it's a pretty I don't think it actually, They're pretty small. Yeah. I don't think it actually saved it. Or they're asking for a new one. Sorry, sorry. All right, what was that? That was amazing. Well, no thank you uh, again, Anna Kendrick, for watching our channel. That's oh, good yeah, yeah, Truly, we I'm do. Sure honestly, really we appreciate busy, it. Yeah. Loved you in Pitch Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. All very. of them. All of them. Over and over again. Unexpectedly good voice. <laughs> Trolls 2, coming out. <laughs> uh, anyway guys if you have fallen in love with your best friend or your best friend is in love with you be sure to leave all of your thoughts about that in the uh, towel section down below yeah. otherwise until next time show the cannon show the cannon boom 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 we are not pirates we're synchronized